In this video, we will try to go through and solve a problem from the Factory of Physics books by Hop and Spearman. This problem is in chapter 7 of the book and it is problem 9. So basically, this problem is about a company named Positively Rivet Incorporation, which produces sheet metal products. So recently, one of its products has an increase in demand. This product is light duty wind hood shelf. So the management team has decided to introduce a new line in addition to the old line that is working to satisfy the increase in demand. Both of these lines have four different processes. They have a punching, breaking, assembly, and finishing process. The difference is that the new line uses higher capacity and automated equipments. And the difference is that the new line has one machine per station, while the old line has several machines working in parallel for each of the stations. We also have some information about the performance of each of these lines. We know that the throughput for the old line is 315 parts per day with a working process of 400 parts, while the new line has a higher throughput. It has 680 parts per day with a working progress of 350 parts. So the management team by just looking at these numbers, they are not satisfied with the old lines because they see that the new line has a higher throughput with a lower work in progress. So your role as an engineer, as a production engineer, is to verify this claim, to verify that is the new line really performing better than old line or not. But how would you do that? We know the information for each of these lines, we know the throughput and the working progress. So by knowing these two numbers, for example, for the first problem, we know that the throughput was 315 parts and the working progress was 400. So we can find these two values in this plot and locate our uh, current situation of the line. If we assume this is the current situation, which gives us, for example, 400 working progress and the throughput of 350. But how do we know if this is performing good or not? What we have to do is to find the regions of this plot that will tell us the line is performing good and the regions that will tell us that the line is not performing good. But how do we do that? First, we can find a point in this plot, which is called critical working progress. So what is critical working progress? Critical working progress is uh, defined by this equation, where in this equation, we know that RB is a bottleneck rate, which is the rate of the workstation having the highest utilization. And T0 is the raw process time, which is the sum of long-term average process time of each workstation in the line. So by finding this point, we can draw the best case scenario of this line. So we know that the line, if our line is performing in the best case possible, it will be somewhere on this line. So now we have to find the worst case scenario. So the worst case scenario or the worst case line is drawn by this line, which is 1 over t0. So if you, if you find 1 over t0, you can draw a line which will give us the worst case scenario. But that's, uh, that's uh, we need to find another line as well, which is the practical worst case scenario. But how do we find that? We have this uh, equation which will give us the practical worst case throughput. So now for any working progress, we can find the practical worst case throughput. 
and by and by inputting different working processes we can find different throughputs and by drawing a line over the points we find we can draw the practical worst case line so now by having these lines we can identify the good region and the bad region so if our current situation is within the good region this part we can say that our line is performing good and if it is in the bad region which is this part we can say that our line is not performing good now at the beginning we assumed that this is our line this is our current situation here so if this is true then we know that our line is not performing good because it's in the bad region so now first let's look at the old line we know that the throughput for the old line is 315 parts per day which is equal to 3.39.375 parts per hour and we also have the working progress of 400 parts so first in order to draw the best case we need to find uh, the critical working progress which is shown by w0 and it's found by r b bottleneck rate multiplied multiplied by the raw process time but what are these values let's look at the table we have here about the information of the line so we have the rate per machines we know that punching is 15 parts per hour breaking 12 parts per hour assembly 20 parts per hour and finishing 50 parts per hour so if we want to find the bottleneck rate we see that breaking has the lowest rate per uh, parts per hour so that could be our bottleneck rate. but if you have to consider the number of machines so in order to find the correct bottleneck we have to multiply each of these rates by the number of machines so this is 60 multiplied for 48 multiplied by 2 it's 40 and multiplied by 5, 1 is 50 so now by looking at the new rates we can see that our bottleneck is our assembly line with a rate of 40 so this tell us that rb is equal to 40 parts per hour now we have to find the raw process time as we said is the sum of process time of each workstation so if we find the sum of these times we see that uh, this is 13.2 minutes so t0 is 13.2 minutes and if we convert that to hours that would be 0 0.22 hours now we have these two values and we can find a critical working progress which is 40 multiplied by 0 to 2 and that will give us 8.8 8 point, 8 points so now by having these two values uh, the bottleneck rate which is, which will which is telling us what is the highest throughput this line can have that's 40 and the critical working progress we can draw uh, we can find the point which will tell us how to draw the best case scenario so if we say that's 8.8 .8 parts and that is the throughput of 40 then this point here is our uh, critical WIP and we can draw 
the best case line, for example, like this. So that's the best case line. Now, we can also find the current situation. Where is the current situation? What is the current situation of the line? By looking, by finding the point, these two values in, in on the plot. So that's throughput of 39.375 and the working progress of 400. So let's say this is the working progress of 400. And that is uh, 39. 0.375. So if we draw, find this point here. So that is our current situation. Let me change the line. So that's that's the current situation. So if this point is within the good region, we can say that our line is performing good. And if it is within the bad region, we can say that our line is not performing good. But in order to find the good region and bad region, we have to find the practical worst case uh, throughput and working process for each working process. So the formula for the practical worst case throughput was for each working progress, you have to find W0, W minus 1 multiplied by the bottleneck rate. So for the current situation, we know that W working progress is 400, so 400, and W0 is 8.8 .8 plus 400 minus 1 and multiplied by the bottleneck rate, which is 40. So if we do the calculation, we see that the practical uh, worst case throughput is 38.9 for this work in progress for the work in progress of 400 we know that the throughput pwc is 38.9 so now if you find this uh, point within this plot let's go find this point so work in progress is 400 and throughput 38.9. So let's assume that's 38.9. That's this line. So in order to draw the practical worst case, we can put different working progresses. For example, we can find the throughput for working progress, for example, 100, 200, 300, and find and the related throughput and draw the line. But for uh, the case of simplicity, and in order to go faster, we can just draw uh, assumption of the line, practical worst case line by this. So we have this line, so we can maybe say that our practical worst case line is like this. So that's practical worst case. So if you remember the plot I showed you before, this is the good region, and this is the bad region. And where is our part, where is our current situation of the old line located? You see that the current situation is located here, and it is in the good region. So we can say that our old line is performing good, but you also need to do the same calculations, draw the same plot for the old line to see how is the old line performing. So maybe the old and the new line is still is also in the good region. So now let's see how is the new line performing. Uh, so we have some data about the new line. We know that the throughput for the new line is 680 parts per day. That is equal to 85 parts per hour because we have eight hours of working time per day. We know that the working progress for the new line is 350 parts. So if you find these two values on this plot, we can find the current situation of the new line. So let's say this is 350 
and 85 parts as the throughput. So if you go and draw, find this point in the plot. So that's the current situation of the new line. You have to see if this point is within the good region or the bad region. In order to find that, we have to draw the best, like, best case line and the practical worst case line. So finding the best case line, we have to find the critical uh, working progress. And in order to find the practical working progress, we need to find the bottleneck rate and the raw process time. Here we have the practical, uh, we have the bottleneck rate. We can find it from this table here. Here, each process has one machine. So we can see that punching and breaking have the lowest uh, rate of production per hour. So one of these is our bottleneck. And we can say the bottleneck rate is 120 parts per hour. And the raw process time is the sum of the process time for uh, all the processes within the line. And if we sum all these up, that will be 1.96 minutes. So T0, it's 1.96 minutes. Converted to hour, it will be 0 0.0326 hours. So by now having these two, we can find W0, which is a critical working progress, or be multiplied by T0, 120 multiplied by 0 0.0. 026 and that will give us 3.912 parts. So now let's find this point on the plot. The working progress of 3.1 uh, 3.912 and the throughput of 120. Sorry, this one. So let's say that this is 3.912 and this is the throughput of 120. If you find this point, this point is the critical critical WIP and we can draw the best case line going through this point. So that is our best case. Now we have to find the worst case or practical worst case line. We have this formula, which will give us, uh, which will give us the uh, throughput of the practical worst case for any given working progress minus one multiplied by RB. So now if we want to find the throughput, the practical worst case throughput of the working progress of the current working progress, which is 350, we can find the values here, 3.912 plus 350 minus one multiplied by RB, which is 120. And if we do the computation or the calculation, we see that this will come up to 1.19 parts, which is related to the working progress of one, uh, sorry, 350, 350. So if you find these two values now, this working progress and this throughput, 350 is here, and uh, let's say, this is 119. So that's this line, this point here. And we can draw the line and approximate practical work in a practical worst case scenario going through this point. So that is PWC. We already know that this is the good region. And this is the bad region. So now we see that our current situation here, we are 
in the bad region. So that means the new line is not performing good. If you compare it to the calculation we did for the old line, the old line was within the good region, was somewhere here. So now by this comparison, we can see that the claim of the management is not correct. Although the new line has a higher throughput with a lower working progress, but in reality, it's not performing good. So this comes to this conclusion that uh, in real world systems, almost always your intuition is wrong and you have to do simulation and you have to calculations to find out the behavior of your system.